Hi, I'm Kelly Gates, and so glad that you are joining us tonight for our We Are V Squared radio special. Now, I've gotten to know Vittorio and Vincenzo, who make up V Squared, pretty darn well, and so truly impressed by their talent. I mean, they're only 12 years old, but don't let that fool you. They already sound like seasoned rock and roll pros. So tonight, you'll hear more from them and about their debut award-winning album, We Are V Squared. We'll be playing some tunes from that and hear about people that have been instrumental in their success, like the producer Ron Nevison, uh, bass player Cameron Frankenstein-Peterson, Vincenzo's drum instructor Matt Power, and also their vocal coach, Raven Kane. And you got a special treat coming your way, too, because we're also going to debut a song from their yet-to-be-released album, Pass the Rock and Roll Torch. And I'm pretty certain you'll want to become a member of their fan club, so let me give you that address right now. Uh, you can join for free at vsquared.rocks. That's V-S-Q-A-R-E-D dot rocks. And now, on with the show. So yes, indeed, you are V Squared. Hello, Vittorio. Hello, Vincenzo. Hello. Hi. So we're really looking forward to getting to know you a, a lot better over the next hour. And, and even though you are twins, you guys seem very different. And I've, I've heard that. I've witnessed it. I've seen it in your documentary. Uh, so why don't we start by each of you just talking about the instrument you play and what you do in the band and then telling a little bit about yourself. So why don't we start with you, Vittorio? Hello, I'm Vittorio, and I played the electric guitar for our band, V Squared. Uh, I was given the electric guitar by my dad. We had listened to the ACDC album, and I was like, that's really cool. And my mom already played guitar, so she was like, hey, maybe we should start you with it. So dad bought me an electric guitar, and we had an instructor, and we just kept progressing from there. And you, Vincenzo, you are a heck of a drummer. Tell us a little about yourself. Well, Vittorio started music a little bit earlier than I did. Not not too much, though. And I got a drum set and when I was little, and I liked to bang on the drums. And then I actually got serious with it, and we got an instructor. And um, my first song was Back in Black. I just kept on playing from there. To watch you play now, I mean, everybody talks about the power that you have with the drums. I heard uh, your producer, Ron Nevison, which we'll talk more about, talk about the fact that you, you bottom out the, the bottom of a drum head. Listen, I've never, ever had a drummer break the bottom snare drum head. You know, we're in the studio, and all of a sudden the snares stop going. And usually when that happens, the snares break off that are attached to the bottom head. And I went and picked the drum up, and the head broke. Now, in 40 years, I've never had that happen. But that's the power that, that this kid generated on, on the snare drum. Vincenzo's drumming, you know, was bonzo. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, a, that's incredible. And what about you, Vittorio? I remember the first time you picked up the guitar? Uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't really natural, mm -hmm. but it felt kind of right, like it should... And so what we're going to do here is go through um, your album, We Are V Squared, your debut album, which is already incredibly successful, and talk about some tracks. So let's just start off with uh, the title track, We Are V Squared. I love the line about how you, you get in the shower and you wash off yesterday, get a fresh start. What's your take on the song? I think that it's just kind of telling who we are, kind of how we came to play music. Well, you are V Squared. Let's play We Are V Squared right now. On 97.7 The River, classic rock for the North Bay. We wake up every morning with our heads in the clouds. Turn off the music, bring it up real loud. Jump in the shower, wash up yesterday. Drink that our breakfast, and you're ready to play. We are. 
title track, We Are V Squared, from your debut album. Now, being not just brothers, Vittorio and Vincenzo, you you are twins, so do you think that that gives you a little advantage, you get extra in sync when you're performing? Yeah, because we've known each other for a long time, so I think we both sort of know what we're, what, kinda, what we're expecting to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, then again, I mean, it's not like we... Like, we we know that we're with each other and we're playing with each other and what we might possibly do, but it's always kind of an unexpected thing because we're different, you know? Mm-hmm. Know different things, and it's like everyone, you know? You you don't know what's going to happen until it happens. Well, ACDC, obviously, a big influence. Uh, what struck you about their sound when you first heard them? It just sounded so killer. It, it was crazy, and finding out that they were, you know, brothers and we had something in common, it, it just kind of clicked with us. We felt it. I think what I liked was, like, I didn't even see them, but I could still hear in the plane, like, they were just giving it all they got, especially on Highway to Hell. Said who they were. That's a great intro into this next song of yours because I feel like it is a little rebellious. Uh, tell us about Rock This House. We wrote the song based off of how every day is the same old, same old, but then when we come back to what we love, music, it's just so much fun, and it's music is awesome. I think of it as just giving it everything you have every day. Here's producer Ron Nevison. I like Rock This House quite a lot. Oh, it's just rock. It's straightforward rock. Here is Rock This House. We are V Squared, 97.7 The River, classic rock for the North Bay.
From We RB Squared, there is Rock This House. We're sitting here with Vittorio and Vincenzo, who make up V Squared. Now, we talked about ACDC, their influence on you. What other bands inspire you? What other bands do you feel in your bones? I think the other band besides ACDC, probably the second, is Led Zeppelin. Every song they have, I just, I really like it because they have so many different varieties. It's not like they have their, they have their own sound, but it's like, they have their ballads, and then they have their, like, rock songs, like Stairway to Heaven, but then they have something like... Black Dog. Black Dog. I've started really liking Black Sabbath. It's kind of cool how they started, like, so early on with that sound. Like, their song War Pigs, it has the bass, and the bass is just so, like, rocking. It's crazy. Well, you're talking about Black Sabbath, which, uh, of course, you have to talk about to Ozzy Osbourne. You talk about uh-huh. Black Sabbath, and that leads us to uh, one of the greats in the rock and roll uh, world when it comes to producing albums, engineering albums, over 75 of them uh, with, uh, you know, incredible names. What was your experience with working with Ron Nevison? Really don't want to get on his bad side because he'll tell you if you're on his bad side. He's just so funny, and it's just a great experience being with him because he'll change something, and it'll sound ten times better when he does it. We had one of those songs, and we, like, changed the entire half of it. Well, yeah, we took out a lot of the choruses. Yeah. And so in the middle of it, are you thinking, why are we doing this? Or did you question it at all? Or I might have a little bit, but I liked it a lot better. Yeah, it, once you hear the song, you, you're a believer in Ron. And uh, what do you think Ron Nevison would say about you? Uh-oh. That's a good question. Let's ask him that question. You know, I've worked with teenagers, but never um, preteens, I guess you want to call them. I said, well, you know, let me check them out. So I went up to uh, their rehearsal hall, and I was blown away. I was absolutely blown away by them. I went, I'm in. <laughs> I want to do it. If you want to talk about Ron, you can't you can't go without the fart machine. Oh, really? You see, in the middle of our our recording, he is telling us these stories about his early days of fart machining. Like he'll be in an elevator with like ten other people, and he'll have his fart machine in his backpack, and he'll just turn it on, and <laughs> and like everyone's <laughs> kind of looking around who just farted, and like three quarters of the way through, he bought us a fart machine. And without dad knowing, dad sits down on the couch and <laughs> and everyone is just laughing so hard. And dad's like, oh, oh, oh excuse me. And it was really funny. I wonder if he did that with Anna Nancy Wilson. I'm trying to imagine if, <laughs> if, that, if that went down or not. Um, so let's play another track right now. We Want Rock Now. That's one of the songs you said that uh, Ron kind of changed up with you. Yeah. What do you like about that song? It was kind of our one of our earlier songs, and we're kind of breaking away from all of what our generation is really listening to, you know, the pop songs and the alternative stuff. And so we're just kind of telling everyone, uh, come back to rock, you know, like, listen to it, you'll like it. I like it because one of our favorite songs is, um, we're not going to take it. So we sort of tried to make it, Sort of the same kind of thing, but our own song, you know. We Want Rock Now is a terrific song. And Femic. We Want Rock Now. Right now. 97.7 The River, Classic Rock, The North Bay, and B Square. We want rock now.
That was We Want Rock Now as we sit here with V Squared, getting to know you boys a little better, Vittorio and Vincenzo. Now, that song is also a little bit about hitting the road, right? But maybe your parents don't think it's quite the yeah. right time. My mom is kind of, no, don't don't go on to it. Like, she, she, uh, she's kind of afraid of what we might turn into, might. <laughs> the debauchery, like yeah. Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Maybe she's heard those stories. But is that something that you guys want to do when the time is right? Yes. You did grow up in a musical household, but it really wasn't rock and roll. Yeah. So talk about that, your first memories of hearing music. Well, I don't remember this, but my mom used to play classical music, and she would kind of like question me on who these people were, and I used to be able to tell you who they were, what symphony it is, and it was really cool. Uh, but I can't remember it, so I think that the first time I really heard the music and actually like really listened to it was when Dad and us were driving through the car, and he was like, hey guys, listen to this, and he turned on the ACDC Back album, and Black. Black, and and we loved it from the start. But your song, Long Live Rock and Roll, uh, you do include some of those composers that you were yes. talking about, right? Tell some of the lyrics for Long Live Rock and Roll. You got Bach, right? And Mozart. Yeah. So it starts off with, before we were born, while still in her room, our mom played the classics filling the room. Handel, Tchaikovsky, Mozart and Bach, Beethoven, Bronze, we never heard any rock. Long Live Rock and Roll is maybe their kind of, song that says the most about them in terms of what they can do because it starts off with Beethoven's Fifth Symphony and dips into classic stuff like that and then it's got very long extended solos uh, it can show uh, what uh, Vittorio can do as guitar player and it's pretty much got uh, Vincenzo's vocal. Here's Cameron Vittorio's guitar instructor. It kind of puts them in the moment, it makes them present while they're playing so while they're playing the song, they really always bring it. Just for this one, they always they always play it better and better, and they always play it really hard. It tells their story, you know, of how they became rockers. Long live rock and roll as we get to know and enjoy the sounds of V-Squared on 97.7 The River, classic rock of the North Bay. Before we were born, right
That was Long Live Rock and Roll. You're listening to We Are V Squared on 97.7 The River. Classic rock for the North Bay. Now, you guys, I've had the pleasure of seeing you perform. And, uh, man, you just come alive when you hit that stage. It doesn't seem like you got any butterflies. If you do, you can't tell. So what takes over you? So before, I feel a little wobbly and I'm like... Why am I so nervous? But I don't know why, but I always am before every show. But then right when Vittorio plays his first chord, all of it goes away and I'm ready. It's kind of the same thing with me. You know, I have those butterflies, but then I remember that, you know, I'm really well rehearsed and I have the same feeling, you know, I hit that chord and it kind of slowly fades away. This is Cameron, Vittorio's guitar instructor. His confidence on the guitar, his ability to improvise... You know, he's growing a lot. He's developing some good good chops. He's got a lot of great ideas. He does have the ability to make up and create solos on the spot. And I try to encourage that. I, I assume one day he'll be sitting in with other great musicians and that skill will be valuable. Here's producer Ron Nevison. I mean, it's true. I mean, look, I've worked with the guitar players I've worked with from Pete Townsend uh, on up to Led Zeppelin. But, you know, for me to, to, to sit there and have this kid basically knock my socks off was really unbelievable. You still got to concentrate because you guys sing and play at the same time, and that is not an easy accomplishment. It's not. Tell us how tough that is. Well, it first started when we wanted uh, Vittorio to sing and play, but he was having some trouble with it. And I said, hey, let me try it. And As Vittorio rolls his eyes a little bit. <laughs> so my dad's going, yeah, okay, this is going to work. He's, he's a drummer. He's like, that's even harder. And then I did it, and so I became the singer from that point. And we started doing that for a while. But then when we did the album, Ron was saying, you know, it's V squared. We are V squared. We want both of you to start singing some more. Yeah, and then once that happened, I had to learn how to play and sing for the concert that we were going to put on in February. So I had to do it a lot with my voice coach and my guitar instructor. And first it just kind of started out with me talking, saying the lyrics but talking, and then we worked on the form and the range and the vocals. Here's V-Squared's vocal coach, Raven. I mean, I've seen them change dramatically since we first started working. But I've never had young rockers, so I was very determined that they get basic strong so they don't hurt their voices because as young boys, their voices are changing. So um, it's really important that they have strong basics underneath so that they don't hurt their voice and that they grow into their shoes, so to speak. Like Vittorio, I think, is going to probably be a baritone. Vincenzo, we'll see. Right now, he's a boy soprano. But their voices complement each other. And I think as they grow, harmonies will be great for those boys. Let's talk about some of your instructors now. You have... Your guitar instructor and your drum instructor, Cameron and Matt. So why don't you talk a little bit of history about them? We're going to hear from them, too. Okay, so Cameron is actually my second instructor. Mm -hmm. My first instructor, uh, he left to go on tour, and he called in Cameron at our first meeting. Something just clicked. Like, I really liked him. He was a really cool guy. I just asked Vittorio to play a couple things for me, show me what he knew how to play, and he could play you know a handful of scales and a couple songs and we had like a little jam session and and that was it he was a really cool kid and very forward like not shy at all he was very personable and very confident little kid you know i think he was only like eight years old when i met him and then uh vincenzo you've been um you've been with matt for a long time on uh drums How yeah about- my dad was already with matt doing um some drumming with him and then i asked my dad if i could try it so Matt came in, 
and I had a 30-minute lesson or something with him just to see if I liked it, and I did, and now he's still my drum instructor and doing great. We started actually the beat for Back in Black, and then from there we just learned the whole song, and we didn't dumb anything down to make it easy. It was just straight up exactly how they play it on the record. I would help him with the drum parts at first with the originals, but now he's pretty much coming up with his own parts, which is pretty cool. Well, your work with um, all those people are preparing you for uh, the future where you may be amassing these. Let's play another track now from We Are V Squared. Girls, stars, money, cars. So this song is about basically... Girls, stars, money, and cars? Yes, why. (laughs) We think um, about how all these other jobs are really great and fun, but being a rock star is sort of can top it a little bit more what they get for being a rock star you know they get girls they get stars and they get money and they get really cool cars we are v squared on 97.7 the river you can be a doctor make your mama spread that you'll never operate on a screaming crowd you can be a lawyer make a lot of show but the girls won't be waiting for you after the show be an accountant on a number all day but you'll never make a cat the wig That's Girl Stars, Money Cars. You can get that on V-Square's debut album, We Are V-Squared. Another song with attitude from you boys. Now, uh, Vittorio and Vincenzo, the items listed in that song aren't the typical things, you know, 12-year-olds may be thinking about. So yeah. I'm curious if, uh, you know, a lot of your classmates, they've probably seen you perform. They're aware of your exceptional talent. Do you think you get treated a little differently at school sometimes? Um, I've always been the same that I was, and I'm the same I am now. And I feel like they are, too. Well, that's cool. good. You know, lots of them ask me, hey, when's your next concert? And stuff like that. And I think that I kind of get, like, after the concert, like, more attention, maybe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I think that they're kind of the same as they always were. When you hear a lot of these people that have worked with you, like Ron Nevis, and they talk about how humble you are and, and your other instructors as well, how it hasn't gone to your head. So uh, you think that that's something that, that's important to you? You make a, an effort to do so? Or you're just are you worried about getting too crazy with the rock and roll? Well, we just love to play music, and that's pretty much why we're doing it. And For the right reasons. Yeah. Not for 
necessarily girl stars, money or cars, but <laughs> just to love music. But you, uh, you know, you have time for other things as well. Um, and are there books and movies and things like that that inspire you? You get immersed in? Yeah, I like to read a lot. My favorite author is probably Mike Lupica, who does sports books. I like his baseball books because I like baseball. And he has a lot of good lessons about when you aren't doing well, like just the characters, how they get out of it. And it sort of inspires me for when I'm not doing well sometimes, what I should do. Yeah, if Vincenzo doesn't make it playing drums, he's going to make it in baseball somewhere. Yeah, exactly. He can pour off baseball stats like, like nobody. What about you, Vittoria? I like... I like books and I like movies uh, with action and ways to solve things. It is rock and roll that you love, and that's uh, why I like this song, too. And this one gets in your head. This one sticks with you, and it seems like it would be a great one to record in the studio. I like doing this the best, so why don't you talk a little bit about that song? It's one of my favorites. The song is saying, I like doing this the best, playing music, and it tells a bit about us, and I really like it. Like you said, it sticks with us. The melody, the the little chord finger plucking riff in the beginning of the song is different than the other tunes. Got a cool intro. Uh, we had gone to a Brian Adams concert, and this was kind of inspired by some of the melodies that he sings. A little bit off the the hard rock thing, but it's very catchy, and it's uh, a song that um, Vittorio sings. I like doing this the best. Ninety-seven point seven, The River. Classic Rock in the North Bay and B Square. I like doing this the best. Better than all the rest. I'm never gonna keep it the rest. Cause I like doing this the best. There's a lot of things I can do. A lot of places I can go. A million ways to spend my dough. I'd rather play.
I like doing this the best. We are here with V Squared. And your voice just sounds exceptional on that tune, Vittorio. So uh, tell us about your uh, vocal coaching and, and how far you've come. Well, my vocal coach and Vincenzo's vocal coach, her name is Raven Kane. And she has worked with some of the greats like Bono from U2. And she has taken my range and brought it up as well as down. And she's a very exceptional singer herself. Well, let's hear from Raven, see what she thinks about you guys. They're terrific. It's a teacher's dream to have two young, really talented kids who actually do what you tell them to do and practice it. And then you see the product. Uh, they're really so talented. It's just awesome. Vincenzo, is, he's amazing how good he's singing. And he can sit on these top rock notes. And because he's drumming, he gets that energy that's necessary to hit those notes. Even though his voice is changing, now it's, he's very stable in that area of, of his voice again. And it's really beautiful. I think Vittorio could definitely be a balladeer. Probably blues would be great with his voice, too. So you've got a world-famous vocal coach. You've got world-famous producer Ron Nevison. And you've already had some monumental moments on stage with some musical greats, which this next song uh, kind of tells the story of... It's the first time I ever tried. What's the story behind this one? So we went to a venue to see the blues legend Buddy Guy. One time he was like walking around the audience in a song and he comes over to me. Do you play guitar? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, well, that's cool. You want to pick? And I was like, you know, I'd rather play with you. There's some guts. Way to go. And so he's like, okay, uh, when I call you out. Feel free to come up on stage. At like his last song, called me up and I played with him, and it was really cool because the guy just has so much soul when he plays. And a few weeks later, he actually found time, which is so cool about him. He found time to get a guitar, sign it, get four CDs and an album, and ship to me. It was just so nice of him. So I wrote a song about it. And I play it with the guitar that he got me. And he's just such a nice guy, you know. Which you can see uh, in, in your documentary, which yeah. is included in your uh, We Are V Squared release. And let's hear it right now. The first time I ever tried a song about you playing with the great buddy guy. We Are V Squared, 97.7 The River, classic rock of the North Bay. I want to tell you a true story. I was nine years old the day I first saw the blues legend. Buddy Guy, playing in my hometown. At the end of his show, Buddy handed out the top hits to the audience. He asked me, you want a guitar pick, little boy? I said, I don't want no pick, I want to play. So Buddy brought me up onto the stage, handed me his guitar, and I played the blues. For the very first time with Buddy Guy. Yeah. It felt good. Real good. And when I was done, Buddy said, Son, you can play the blues. So I wrote a song about it. And it goes like this.
played the blues with Buddy Guy. Seven point seven, the River Classic Rock for the North Bay. A song about playing with Buddy Guy, which is a true story. First time I ever tried. Now, uh, an amazing night for you, Vittorio. What did you think about that night, Vincenzo? Um, <laughs> I'm hearing you weren't there. Well, uh, yeah, he wasn't actually. <laughs> What's the story behind that? So I asked how are the drummers, and everyone was like, "Yeah, they're good." Yeah, uh-huh. okay. And my mom wanted me to stay and do some, like, homework with her or something. So I said, I'll stay home. Excuses, excuses. Well, the one night Victoria plays with Buddy Guy, I'm not there. But in my defense, also, someone left right before yeah. y- you played. So Cameron, my guitar instructor, was also at that concert. And just before I went up, he left with his friend, and I was even, like, calling him, uh, buddy. I was like, well, what did you learn how to play? And I was like, oh, my guitar instructor is somewhere here in the crowd. And I was like, Cameron, <laughs> Cameron, where are you? Come on, stand up, you know, wave. No answer. It, it just goes to show with rock and roll, man. You never know what you're going to miss. Stay to the end of the show. And that song right there, the first time I ever tried, is uh, actually getting a lot of airplay on uh, college stations, on their blue shows and heavy rotations. So congratulations on that. That's well, got to feel awfully good. So also, how do you guys decide which songs each of you are going to sing? Well, when we did our album with Ron, he kind of chose who was going to sing based off our... Um, your range and yes, maybe your range attitude. And, yeah. So my voice is more of a rock ballad voice, and Vincenzo's is more of a hard rock voice. So we kind of choose which songs fit better for our voices and our ranges. I can't hit... Long live. Long live. So Vincenzo sings long live rock and roll and i can't hit we rv squared anymore so we actually had to tune down my my guitar so that i could sing it but that only would have happened because vincenzo doesn't have necessarily the sound for that song now you are 12 so do you think about your voices changing as yeah uh, i've noticed that mine (laughs) is getting deeper so i have lower keys in my songs. This is V-Squared's vocal coach, Raven. Their voices complement each other, and I think as they grow, harmonies will be great with for those boys. Vincenzo, is he's amazing how good he's singing, and he can sit on these top rock notes, and because he's drumming, he gets that energy that's necessary to hit those notes. Even though his voice is changing, now it's he's very stable in that area of, of his voice again, and it's really beautiful. I haven't really gone through puberty yet, so <laughs> not really. Not yet. Well, you were saying, Vittorio, that your voice lends more to uh, ballads, and there is a killer song that's not on this album, We Are V Squared, but will be on your next album called So Long, My Love, and saw you perform this live, and this just touched so many people. Talk, talk about this song. This has got a real meaning behind it. We wrote this song for our friend's husband that died, um, her name is Linda, and her husband had hurt himself when he had bumped into a, like, dresser. The dresser, like, fell or something. He ended up passing away from it, and it was very sad, and so we wrote the song for Linda, and it's for anyone who's really lost a loved one. So long, my love, from your second album, 
And we'll talk more about that in just a second. 97.7 The River. So long, my love. It's been a real sweet ride. So long, my love. See you on the other side. So long, my So long, my love. That is V squared. That's going to be on your next release. So we've already got things to look forward to in the future from you. What can you tell us about that record? I played the national anthem, and Ron thought it was a great idea to add like an orchestra into it. It sounds really, really good, and it's it's really awesome. 
You already have a name for it? Or are you still uh, working on that? Pass yes. the rock and roll torch. Vincenzo and I made a cover that is the Statue of Liberty's arm with a V-squared tattoo on the forearm. He had the idea. I, I had I the idea, it. but Vincenzo drew it. Vincenzo's really a, an exceptional uh, artist. That's what I'm excited about, too, because you obviously have a great future ahead in, in rock and roll, but all your other interests as well. It's going to be a lot of fun to see what happens next, huh? Yeah, thank you. And what can we look forward to you from the future? In our future, I hope to progress in my musicianship, and we're going to be putting out more albums. Torio's interested in a lot of different kinds of music. He He likes rock and roll, and he likes singer-songwriter stuff, and he likes blues music, and he likes funk music. And I think that, you know, as he grows older, he's going to blend those influences, especially as his ear, you know, opens up to different records. As he's listening to more music, he's going to start using some more of that stuff. Vittorio and Vincenzo, right now, it's really loving what they do. They're young and they're so talented and they have a really good work ethic. So we'll see as they get older if that still is the, the shining light in their heart that really drives them forward. We have two albums in the can. And we're going to go with that. And I'm going to be back in 2017 to do album three. And who knows what it's going to be like. I just keep having fun, which I don't think is going to be any problem for you guys. Thank you. Uh, Thank you so much. (laughs) To become a member of V-Squared's fan club, you could go to vsquared.rocks right now. That's V-S-Q-A-R-E-D dot rocks. And when you subscribe to their free fan club, you'll also get invitations to private V-Squared rehearsals, your first shot at free tickets to their next show, access to exclusive fan club only music videos, and your choice of any song you want to download for free. That's at vsquared.rocks. Also find their debut album, We Are V-Squared, at Amazon.com, BestBuy.com, and on iTunes as well. I'm Kelly Gates. Thanks so much to everyone for their help tonight, including, of course, Vittorio and Vincenzo from V-Squared, producer Ron Nevison, bass player Cameron Frankenstein-Peterson, drum instructor Matt Power, and the boys' vocal coach Raven Kane. And also a special thanks to Michelle Marquez and Jeff Davis for helping us put this all together. 97.7 The River, Classic rock for the North Bay.